you end up uh, shortly after testifying. Yeah. Uh, you end up giving your first national television interview where you publicly spoke uh, about you know what went on yeah. the first time you were really uh, truthful and went into everything. And shortly following that, you run into Lance Armstrong in a restaurant in Aspen. Explain what ensued. I was doing a charity event up in um, Aspen, Colorado, and uh, was out at a, rest, at a restaurant with friends, and Lance Armstrong approached me and, uh, yeah, tried to intimidate me, I guess. And he did. He did, I guess, yeah. What did he say? Oh, uh, we had an interesting conversation for about probably no more than 10 minutes, but I excused myself from the table and gone up to use the restroom. And on my way back from the bathroom, basically, uh, just a, a hand reaches out from the bar area and catches me. And I thought to myself, either this is a, a friend of mine playing a joke on me, or maybe it's somebody who's like had too much to drink and they're trying to get my attention. And then I quickly turned to my right and realized it's, it's Lance. I knew at the time there was a federal investigation going on, investigating Lance Armstrong and the U.S. Postal Service cycling team. So I knew we should not be, you know, this is not good. We shouldn't be talking. But, you know, he's confronted me, so I stood there and listened to whatever he had to say. And What did he say? You know, you fucking asshole. You, um, you know, you, you did this. Why'd you do 60 Minutes? You did it. How much did they pay you? All this, this nonsense. Um, he called me a lot of names, and, uh, but he never called me a liar, which I found interesting. So he said, I'm going to make your life a living hell, both in the courtroom and out of the courtroom. So, you know, Lance is a powerful, Lance Armstrong is a powerful dude, very powerful. And so did, it, did he intimidate me? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows what he meant by those words, but, you know. Let's just say I didn't rest that well at, for the next few months. And so. as time passed, you began to feel like people were watching you and following you. Yeah, um, yeah. What was happening? We saw definitely strange cars sitting outside our, our house. And that's no way to live your life. Explain what would happen with your computer. For sure, computers got tapped, phones got tapped into, you know. What, what kept popping up on your computer? Oh, uh, you know, oh, <laughs> Livestrong advertisements. So, yeah, maybe that was just some fan messing with me. There was a, probably a six month period that Lindsay and I felt very uncomfortable just living a quiet lifestyle.